Dr. Gelrud, in exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, you described that patients may have diarrhea, diarrhea with specific characteristics, actually. Sometimes the term steatorrhea is used by pancreatic care providers to describe that to patients. Could you talk a little bit about what that indicates? Actually, excellent question, Dr. Phillips, and that's a point that we see frequently. Steatorrhea is a medical terminology to state that the patient is seen fat in the stool. That's what steatorrhea means in the medical terminology. So frequently when patients start to describe that they're seeing fat in the stool, you're talking about a pancreas that is very sick and there's usually advanced disease. What I mean by advanced disease is that there's a significant loss of function. So usually what happens is that the patients will tell you that they're having a hard time flushing the toilet because they will see what at least I like to ask, you know, describe, you know, do you see like oil mixed with vinegar? That's exactly how it looks. You know, this fat of droplets, like when you're eating a salad, eh, that's what the patient will see literally in the, in, in the toilet. So we like to ask, you know, are you seeing, you know, this type of oil mixed with vinegar type of appearance? Eh, are you having a hard time flushing the toilet? Uh, again, we talk about the full smelling uh, stool. We talk about the pale looking stool. Um, and those are clinical clues, you know, that the patient may have a uh, steatorrhea or that the patient does have steatorrhea. Usually steatorrhea, it's advanced disease. Again, as I mentioned before, that there's a significant loss of function. Dr. Gerwood, I'm just gonna add that, that um, when this steatorrhea develops, um, usually that's a fairly far advanced chronic pancreatitis and it definitely needs treatment. But some patients, even though they don't see those obvious changes in the stool, can still uh, have inadequate digestive enzyme function and can still be having nutritional problems related to the pancreas. So if you see the steatorrhea, that usually means it's far advanced, but you can have these, uh, these nutritional problems even if you don't see obvious steatorrhea. Dr. Forsmack, I think that the point that you're making, it's extremely important because by the time that we see these fat droplets in the stool, the patient has been malabsorbing for a long time. So, you know, frequently, I'm not going to say that it has been misdiagnosed, but I'm sure the patient has been complaining or at least noticing that something rare is going on in their bodies. So, so I 100% agree with what you just said. And again, I don't want to be repetitive, but frequently when it comes to steatorrhea, it's a good idea to take a picture so you can show it to your doctor because sometimes patients states that they're seeing steatorrhea. And when we see the image, we can reassure them that it is or that it's not. <laughs>